However, if this is selected, so I do the event associated with this, I say then price is equal to 30. Okay, and of course, if you go back and change your mind and you select this again, then again, I have to set the price to 45 because it could have been changed at any point. So price is equal to 45. Okay, I'm done with my radio buttons. Now, let us think about my checkboxes. What happened is, uh, by default, nothing is selected. So we'll ask the customers, what would you like? And they will pick and choose from these toppings. If they select or choose one of the toppings, I will simply add that value. So how, uh, how much is it costing to put some olives? So we said it's three dirhams. So I will create variables Again, I, they can be integer or double, it's up to you, depending on the application. So that variable, I will call it, for example, the olive price or simply olive, okay? If this is selected, then olive is equal to three. If it's not selected, so maybe I select it and I unselect it again, then I will say olive is equal to zero, okay? So let us go ahead and do that. I will right click event. So I'm pro programming the event with this associated with this checkbox. What do I do in here? I'm checking for a variable that say we call olive. If selected, then I will put it to three, otherwise zero. So in here, I will go ahead and add more variables, okay? For olives or olive, I'm gonna put zero in the beginning. So in the beginning, nothing is chosen. I'm gonna do the same for what? For the pepper. For the meat, the mushroom, sorry equal to zero and for the meat is equal to zero okay so i have my variables we are available now and this is what i will do okay i need a conditional statement that check for something so what I'm going to check the way is to check the price. If olive is equal to zero, and guess what? I'm gonna put it to three, else I'm gonna put it to zero, okay? So check, uncheck, check, uncheck, and so on. So this is the way it's done. Instead of using the if statement as a conditional statement, I'm gonna use an easier way of doing it. So olive is equal to what? I will ask a question. Is olive equal? So this is not the assignment operator now. This is the comparison operator, the equality. So is it equal to zero? I'm asking this question. If true, if it is zero, then what do I do? Then olive now gets three. Else, if not true, I mean it was three in the beginning, so I'll put it equal to zero. Okay, so I'm toggling between three and zero based on uh, clicking or checking on unchecking. Okay, sounds good. I will repeat that for pepper, so I just copied that and I will do it for pepper. price of pepper is two.
minus is 4. And finally meet the price is 8. Okay, fine. So I have my price and I have my toppings. What do I need? I need the total. So I need here another variable that I will call total. And this is equal to zero to start with. Okay. And I will go ahead and start programming my button. So go to the design, click here. Okay, ready to program my button. So what do I do in here? The total for this order is equal to the price that I got, right? Whether it's small, medium, or large, plus did I add olive? So this will be either zero or three, plus pepper. Okay. Right now, I need, uh, this is called mushroom, not mushrooms. That's why I had a mistake. Okay, now what I need as a place to put my total, I go to the design and add a nice little label here. Okay. Now let me just align it. Okay. Now I will resize it. And I will just rename the variable. This is my total label. Keep it empty. So basically, I will set the text later or program programmatically. Okay, let's go to the design. And how do we put the text in there? It's very easy. What, what is it called? What is the name of the control? It's called the total label, right? Dot, remember, I'm setting my text to the string, which is, I don't have a string, otherwise it would have picked it up. So I need simply to uh, uh, convert my total into a string. And remember how we do that? String class dot, I use the value of, the value of what? A double, the total is double, and it will pick up one, it decided to pick up price. Oops. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and test.